Hey, gorgeous ones. All right, so this is, indie, I'm calling this Indie Eye Week because this week I'm going to be posting up all these Indie Eye makeup pal eyeshadow palettes I recently purchased. And the reason why is because all of a sudden I started watching, I think I started watching Amy Loves Makeup, her Will I Buy It, you know, series. And she focuses on Indie Eye makeup, Indie Eye brands. Polina Beauty does a lot of them. I think Angelica shows a lot of them. So I have been seeing all these brands and then all of a sudden it was like all of a sudden I've been on, you know, watching them. And then I just started pulling the trigger and pulling the trigger and pulling the trigger. And I just wound up with a bunch of eyeshadow palettes from different brands. So I wanted to spend a little time and review them, play with them, review them. And I just decided to do it all in one week. So the first one we're going to talk about is Igneous Cosmetics. Is Igneous Cosmetics is out of Toronto, Canada. They have, of course, an IG page. I'll link, I'll try to link all of the IG pages of these companies because if I'm not mistaken, they all have IG pages. Of course they do because that's where indie brands get noticed on. Um, and so w the way I wound up looking for them is because I saw this picture right here that I'm going to put up. And it was of these blues and these greens. And it was like, <gasps> And so I went on their page and I started following them. Now they have an Etsy shop. That's how I found them. I will try. I think I'll try to link that down here also so you can find them in case you want to get these fabulous um, eyeshadows. So let's just talk about them. So they are out of Toronto. What I wound up buying was what they call the Cabin by the Lake uh, collection. These are two separate palettes, but you can buy them together. And then they call it the Cabin by the Lake. Um, this one is called Cozy Cabin right here. Let me show that to you. So this is Cozy Cabin right here. And then this is Lakeside right here, which has all those blues and greens that I was looking at. Now, the first thing, let me see. They're um, 1.5 gram each. Oh, sorry, I got to sneeze. They're 1.5 gram each, which is a decent size. Um, the price of them, I will have to look that up because I honestly don't remember. But let me tell you, first off, I just love the packaging. It looks like she hand paints these because I can definitely see that these have been painted. So I think she hand, the, the owner hand paints these. And then I got to be honest, I just really like the size of them because I really like this little bitty little size. They're like, you can, they're just so tiny but they pack a lot so what it is is this this is six shadows it's four mattes two shimmers and each one if i'm not mistaken this is four mattes two shimmers and then this is four mattes and two shimmers and then you've got of course this beautiful berries you know um and this this is the cozy cabin this is the warm tone one this has the beautiful orange and these like beautiful purples with a little mauvey color in it this is like a brown Oh, this is so pretty. And then, of course, I have this one, which is what I have on my eyes right now, which is the lakeside one. And these are your blues and your greens. And I really, really love how they come together. Now, let me just tell you, when you receive them, this cozy cabin, uh, this like a, a cabin by the lake. Let me get this together. She, of course, gave me an extra eyeshadow which i thought was so lovely because you know the one thing about indie brands they work really hard to keep your dollars and you can really know who you're giving your money to so that's why i kind of like them also with the cozy cab cabin she she sent me a bunch of stencils so you know i could swatch you know so i got a bunch of swatch stencils and look she's got i love igneous i might do this one I know I don't know if you all can see them. Let me see. Can I get them close enough where you can see it? I don't think you can see it, but there are a bunch of stencils she sent with it. So you know, like you know, look. So I can help her with a little p, you know, a little marketing. <laughs> like okay, but let's talk about the shadows. So this is the. Um, lakeside and then this is the cozy cabin i will put a picture up i did actually i've used both of them now and i wanted to make sure i used them both before i said anything so i've used them both this is a picture of me using the cozy cabin um and now i've got on the lakeside and let me say i think they're really good shadows um, they are powdery. You will see this look. I'm going to put up, this look will be coming up after we, you know, talk about them shadows. They are a little powdery, 
but so what you know like i always say i don't mind a powdery they're not just overly they're not they're not quite abh powdery you know kick up but you know they are powdery enough and to be honest i don't mind that now here was the thing when i do a eye look the very first time when i play with the shimmers i never you know, um, spray my brush. I always try to pack it on with a, with a dry brush. And I use these right here. Oh, I use this one right here. You are gonna see it when I put it on in the video, in the tutorial. This is lovely, lovely. They, I had absolutely no problem either time when I used them with any blending there was no patchiness the only problem i always have is like i will always say is with my left eye because there's some type of fold going on i don't know what that's about but i gotta get take it you know i'm working on that and so that's what always happens right there but otherwise they blend out beautifully the colors are intense you know you you don't have to you know i tend to like try to take it slow but you definitely get the pigmentation they are so 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 pigmented and one thing i do like about these is not only the size but they are well packed you know so you know they're they're pretty well put together in here so you don't have a lot of movement they don't they seem you know well packed the eyeshadows themselves because you know you want them to be packed enough so they don't break the other thing I want to say is that I think these are awesome to take with you places. I know, I know, yes, great for travel. But if you think about it, they're so tiny. And then if you take both of them, you have two different eye look, types of eye looks. You have this, which is your warm tone eye look. And then you have this, which is your cool tone with these green, greens and these blues. And you can really make some beautiful eye looks and have a, enough shadows to do two different things two different styles um i would definitely travel with these because i just love i really like these little tiny ones they're just doing something for me it's like we're not gonna spend a lot of excess packaging we're gonna give you just what you need to put these eyeshadows in so all in all i think they're a good value um i think that they're worth getting Please, if you decide to get them, let the uh, owner know that you heard about them from me because, you know, sister want people to know, hey, I'm telling people about your stuff. And no, honestly, um, now I will say this. The one thing was it did take a little longer for her to ship them out, but she is working by herself. The owner works by herself. She has to do all this on her own. So, you know, be be patient, but it will get shipped out. You will, you know, it took about a week to ship out, five to seven days to ship out. And then, you know, you have to take it to account. You are take, getting it from another country. So it's going to take a little bit extra time. So it took about seven days from the date of shipment for me to get it. So it took about a week. So all in all, is about two weeks to get them. But, you know, I'll be honest with you, they are worth it. So do I like these? I sure do. I am. I'm definitely a fan of Igneous Cosmetics. I will be getting me some more. The next, I got to go look on their thing, see when they're coming out with something new. I am. I'm a fan. So this is a great little brand to go and try out. I'm just telling you, look at these ads. All right, so if you would like to see this tutorial, see how I did this eye look, we're going to get out of here. Now, before I leave and do all that, hey, if you're new and you've made it this far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I always forget to say that. You know, give me a little like, give me a little comment. If you have any questions, anything else you would like to know, just let me know. All right, on to this eye look. See you later. All right, so now let's get started. So I'm going to start out with uh, cedar, which is the uh, lightest, the, the light green matte in the palette as my transition color. I'm going up really high on my, uh, you know, high crease, high, high, you know, I'm my brow bone. Filling it in, filling it in, fin filling it in. Now this takes a little while for me because you know I, I really wanted to make sure that I had the colors in really well and make sure that um, you know they were going to really be uh, nicely in there. Now the next color is 
that's cold and I'm using that in the crease. Now I will say this, these are very easy to work with. You know, I did say they're kind of soft, so they do have, uh, you know, quite a bit of uh, fallout, you know, kickback or whatever, I don't know what it's called. But they are soft, but they are so pretty. They are so pretty, and they blend so well. They're really, really easy to work with. Now, I spent a lot of time on my crease trying to get this color just right, because oftentimes I kind of, you know, it's when you're doing your eyes, it's, you want to have that balance in. So I just wanted to make sure my, my color was balanced. And, you know, I know it looks a little crazy right now, but it is for a cut crease, you know, a half cut crease. So you can go really, you know, intense on your crease color because you know you're going to clean it up. All right. So next up, I'm going to be using Lake, which is the dark blue in the palette. And I'm going to concentrate that on my outer V just to make sure that I get that, um, the, uh, I wanted to darken up that corner, you know, the outer corner. So I'm, I concentrated that Lake right in the outer V. Now I don't really worry about the fallout because I haven't done anything. I don't have any foundation on. So I can always clean it up. So that's what I'm doing right there. I'm cleaning up the edges. You know, now I'm going to use my e.l.f. to uh, create my crease. You know, clear my lid up for doing like a half cut crease. I did go up really high into my, you know, I did a really high crease. I honestly didn't plan on doing it that high. It just kind of happened that way. All right, now I'm using spruce, and I use this dry without putting any Fix Plus or anything, and this is a beautiful shimmer. Oh my goodness. I mean, I didn't, you know, use my finger. I didn't spray the brush, but the color payoff was so intense and beautiful. I absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna finish up my makeup you know I'm going to uh, get it all together first I you know did a little blend I had to get a little blending going and then I'm gonna finish up my makeup off camera so you all can see how it actually looks I'll be right back all right so here's the finished look hope you all like it well you know I know I absolutely love it I think it came out really good you know I really like the colors that that I use um, the I really love the shadows I think they're a good value I love you know like I said I love how they're set up and the beauty and how they really work well together oh I forgot to tell you all so what I did on my lower lash line was that I used the balsam fur that dark green and then I did um, the first frost in my inner corner so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment or two if you have anything to say. All right, it's your Lulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later.